Hi, I'm Dustin Smith, Content Marketing Manager and Video Producer for Life Size. We have all been on conference calls where the person on the other end is hard to see because of poor lighting. They can either be backlit, giving them a silhouette effect, have harsh shadows on one side of their face, have too much light, giving them a blown out look, or be barely lit at all. So today I wanna to test out five inexpensive lighting solutions for video conferencing to help you look your absolute best on every call. When looking for lighting solutions for video conferencing, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. First, you need a dimmable light so you can control the brightness of the light. If you have the option to control the color temperature, that's even better. To avoid harsh shadows, your light will need to be centered right above your camera or have two lights on either side of your camera to balance out the lighting on your face. I have picked five inexpensive lights that all meet this criteria. In order to test out each light, I am recording myself at home using just my cell phone and laptop. I've called into a life-size virtual meeting room to show you what each light looks like on a conference call. Okay, let's get started with the LumCube video conferencing lighting kit. It comes with a suction cup mount to attach the light to the back of your laptop or smart device and a USB cable to charge the built-in battery. It also comes with an attachable frosted light diffuser to soften the light while you're using it. You can adjust the brightness and color temperature of the light with a dial on the side of the panel. I'm currently using the Loom Cube on this conference call, but for comparison, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and we can see the natural lighting in my home office is not great. The overhead lighting is casting a shadow on one side of my face. So let me turn the Loom Cube back on and we can see the difference it makes while using the Loom Cube on a conference call. Now for my feedback. I think the Loom Cube does an excellent job of clearly illuminating my face and getting rid of the shadows. I like how small and portable this panel is. It's about the size of a credit card, so it would be very easy to take it with you if you were traveling and had to do a conference call on the go from a hotel room or a coffee shop. I also love the small LCD display on the back of the panel that tells you the brightness level, color temperature, and how long the battery will last. The one negative I would say with this lighting solution is that it does require a smooth, flat surface to mount it. This may be an issue for certain monitors or devices that do not have an even flat back surface. Up next is the Niwer portable LED light kits. It comes with two small light panels and adjustable tabletop tripods. Ideally, you would adjust the height of these lights to about the level of your camera and put them on each side of your computer. You can power the lights by plugging them directly into your computer's USB drive or directly into the wall. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the lights off so we can see what the video conference call looks like with no lights. And then turn it back on. And this is what it looks like with the lights on. I can adjust the brightness using a switch on the cord. Both lights are independent of each other. All right, and now for my feedback. I think these two lights do a great job of providing nice, even lighting on my face. Uh, my overall impression is it's a great dual lighting solution when you're on a budget. The negative of these lights, I would say, is one, you cannot control the color temperature, and two, it takes up a, quite a bit of desk space. Uh, I think having two separate lights sitting on tripods with cords running across your desk plugged in is probably not the best use of your workspace. Next up is the Taltronics LED desk lamp. This lamp plugs directly into the wall and you can easily center the light right above your computer camera and tilt the light towards your face for nice even lighting. You can also control the brightness of the light and color temperature of the light by swiping left and right on the base. I'll go ahead and turn the light off so we can see what the conference call looks like with no additional lighting. There it is and turn it back on, I can adjust the brightness. All right, now for my feedback. I think this is an exceptional desk lamp. I like how customizable the light is. I could bend it in just about any direction and pick from seven brightness levels and five color temperatures to find the perfect lighting. I think this light is especially great for someone that has a dedicated home office. I like that the light is dual purpose. It can function as a desk lamp and a video conferencing light. 
The negative about this light is it's not super portable as it requires you to plug it directly in the wall. So it wouldn't be a great solution for doing video conference calls on the go. Next is the UBZ Duo ring light. There are thousands of different ring light options. I picked this one because it's inexpensive and it has adjustable dual lights that you can control both the brightness and color temperature. You can clamp it onto the back of your desk and it has one cable that plugs directly into your computer. It also has a place to hold your phone in case you wanna do a conference call from your smart device. Okay, I will go ahead and turn off the lights so you can see what it looks like with no additional lighting. And I will turn them back on and using the switch on the cord, I can adjust how bright and soft the lights are. All right, and now for my feedback. I think there's a reason so many amateur bloggers and social media influencers love ring lights. They provide a nice diffuse soft lighting that's easy on the eyes and gets rid of the harsh shadows. The negative would be you have to clamp these lights onto something to hold them in place. This is not practical for all workstations. And if you're only using your computer for a conference call, there's really no place on the back of your computer to clamp these lights. Also, the body of the ring light is bulky and just strange looking. I probably wouldn't use these lights in a public place if I was working from a coffee shop or someplace like that. Finally, let's look at the Welland Selfie ring light. This inexpensive light uses AAA batteries and clamps directly onto your computer or smart device. There's a hole at the bottom of the light that lets the cameras shoot through the ring light. Okay, I will turn the light off so we can see without any additional lighting, and then I'll turn it back on, just the, the lighting, and this is what it looks like with the, the light back on. My feedback on this light is I think it gets the job done. It's a very inexpensive, simple lighting solution that would be easy to take with you if you are uh, traveling or doing conference calls on the go. The negative of this light, you can't control the color temperature and it doesn't go super bright. It's currently on the brightest setting right now. So if you worked in a darker home office setting, this may not be a good solution for you. Also, the light clamps directly onto your smart device. So if you're using a third party video conferencing camera or a monitor that is thicker, it probably wouldn't work for that. Okay, time for the winner. After testing all the lights on multiple conference calls, there is one that really stood out. I picked the LumCube video conferencing lighting kit as the best inexpensive video conferencing lighting solution. The cube provides even lighting and clearly illuminates my face since I can adjust the brightness level from one to 100% using a dial on the side of the panel. It is also a full spectrum LED light, meaning I can adjust the color temperature from soft orange all the way to bright white. The built-in battery will last up to 14 hours or you could use the light while it's plugged in and charging. Overall, I think it's the best simple and inexpensive lighting solution for video conferencing. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.